Hi and hello to you. It is good to see you today. Today, in my little room here, I'm going to be attempting to make just the littlest bit of Pop Tab chainmail armor. I've been watching a bunch of tutorials on YouTube, and there are endless middle school girls who have instructed me on how to do this today. Thank you very much, all of you middle school girls who showed me how to do this. I will leave a few links down in the box below to your all's tutorials, and I wish you luck on your math homework. According to the tutorials, what I need is I need pop tabs. I've got... I have a bunch more downstairs. I figured for the purposes of the video, I would do 20. That sounded like a good number. Maybe I'll get mad at it after five. I don't know. But I've got 20 of these. They're all off of seltzer cans, and if you ever get the chance to try it, Kroger Seltzer in the Blackberry Citrus. Mm hmm. Supposed to need pliers to like bend the pop tabs, and you're supposed to need like wire cutters, but that's for people who don't have tin snips for making noodle ears. So I've got the big boy out today, so I'm excited to get to use this a second time. Because huh, I bought it, I'm gonna wave it around. What you're supposed to do, I think, you're supposed to bend bend it. I've never done this before. Oh, that was easy to bend. Cool. So there's that bent, and then I would assume you tin snip it. Well, that went right through. Okay, so there's one. Cool. And we need four of these because we're making the diamond. I act, I have a costume plan that will involve chainmail, but I'm not ready to give up what it is yet. I'm just get ready to say that mm, actually I'm making chainmail. That one's really easy. I didn't think it would. And ten snippet. Two. Three. I have no idea what angle I'm supposed to bend them at, so I'm just hoping that I've got a good angle. Four. So what I'm supposed to do now is I'm supposed to make a diamond out of this. Um, oh, it bends, it just, like in my fingers it'll bend. Okay. So, like, cool. Cool. So like these two are flying fancy free, and they are going to be joined together by this little guy. Hey, I think I did it! Maybe. Hold on. Come on. Yeah, I did it, but it's... hers was very neat and mine is very not. Let's see if I can unjumble that there. Maybe? Maybe? Huh. Oh, wait, maybe I need to bend this one more. Oh, I see it, I see it, okay. So here's what the problem was. You have to make sure that these two are sitting next to each other before you put this guy on, I guess. Also, I'm not sure I have them bent enough. I'm gonna play with it and get back to you. I have gotten this far. Here's a couple of things that I've kind of noticed that help or don't help. Number one, I'm on my leg because it's a curved surface. I got kind of frustrated and I started trying to do it on a flat surface, my wig case over here, and it was still really fiddly, but for some reason, just like this gentle curvature of my leg really helps it out. And if I had pants that like it could slide on, that would be also helpful. Number two thing that I've found that kind of helps is when you're bending it. You, no, I wouldn't say 90 degrees, but quite a bit of degrees. Like that's probably not even enough. There we go. Not quite 90, but a lot. Um, the tutorial that I found suggested to make diamonds and link the diamonds together, I'm going a little bit off script because I'm a knitter and I kind of know the process. 
I think it's helpful to get it as dead center as possible because some of the ones that I cut maybe a little off center were the ones that were kind of slipping around a little bit on me. And also, it just seems to do better when it's bigger, which doesn't help you start. So I guess it's like knitting in that regard too, in that the bigger <laughs> the bigger the piece is, the easier it is to deal with. I'm a crocheter. I don't knit well. So there's a link, kind of, hopefully. You have to close the back of it. I said close. There we go. I'll do three for you live. Oops, that's not quite even. See, it seems like the more even you can do everything, the happier this is. But maybe that's just because it's really fiddly right now because it's small. Maybe if it was big, I could get away with some garbage. I think that's enough. No. Cut as evenly as possible. And just call me Zelda because I'm Lincoln. A terrible dad joke. Mm, come on. See what I mean about it being fiddly? Maybe I'm just being paranoid because I would like to keep it neat. Maybe I should just pick it up. Grab it. I wonder if this will be like really warm to wear. Maybe, maybe not, because I like it's reflective. I wonder if it will reflect heat in or if it will reflect heat outward. Foam armor looks like it would be really hot to wear, but I've never found it that warm. Okay, there we go. Getting somewhere. Let's put a couple more on, just so that we have them. Bend, a good bend, and cut. Cool. Hmm, huh. let's put it here. I'm not full on sure how wide my chainmail shirt needs to be. I'll just give it away, I'm making a shirt. But That's not right. No, I should have put it here. Well, I'll need that one there eventually, so I don't feel that bad. Just for fun, we'll fill in the missing one right here. Bend. And snip. Hmm. So how are we going to do this? We're going to put this here, obviously. My little bud. There we go. And then, aha, so he needs to link. Whoop. He needs to not come off. I'm suspecting that this is going to be much more durable if I go through the back of this when I'm completely done and just hit every single thing with the tiniest dollop ever of hot glue. There we go. Yeah, okay. We're coming. We're doing it. Finished piece. It gets really screwy when you pick it up. Um, something that I've noticed is that the sides try to curl in a little bit, so if you fool with it, it'll be okay. And I kind of suspect that like when the whole ding-dong thing is done, if you run, just like run some wire through there to finish it, it'll be fine. That's what we're looking at up in the air. And something else I've noticed too, let me go get something. When you lay it flat, it works nicely. So I'll keep you updated on making this armor, but I don't know where I'll keep you updated. Luckily, you can follow me at all the cool stuff down below, and if you'd hit subscribe, then that would be awesome. Thank you.